question to you, though, is the idea of globalization and um, the fact that, for example, in the Montevideo uh, Agreement, this whole concept of we, we need to, that the relationship between ICANN and the United States is no longer sustainable, and that we need to move toward a more globalization uh, part, uh, management of the internet. It doesn't that raise some security concerns for you too as far as cyber attacks and other countries like Russia and China that are trying to get in there and kind of control what's going on here? Doesn't that diminish our authority and oversight over those kinds of things? Maybe. Uh, I don't think anybody really disagrees with that ultimate goal. That's been bipartisan policy for 15 years. The critical question is how it's done. And so today, what we're starting is a process that really begs the, the, the fundamental question, which is the one that Steve raised. It's about accountability for ICANN. So I think it's a mistake to get too focused on this idea that the administration has just given up control over the Internet. What really is important is that going forward, there's a framework in place to make sure that ICANN is actually accountable to somebody, and importantly, that the, that the door isn't open for a takeover by foreign governments like Russia and China, who last year allied with certain European companies to propose a radically different internet governance structure that would really be uh, a run by an organ of the United Nations. Right. That's so, something that nobody in the U.S. wants. So, Baron, let me just get this straight, and I, and I think I understand.